There is a worrying prediction about what will happen if Russia wins the war in Ukraine. Ukrainians may face execution, arrest and being sent to concentration camps. This forecast was shared by historian and journalist, serviceman of the 13th Operational Brigade of the National Guard, Charter of Ukraine, Volodymyr Birchak from Turnip Hill in an interview with Novinana. In his opinion, Ukrainian society does not seem to fully understand how high the stakes are during the confrontation with the Russians. Because this is a war for our existence as such. And if we lose, then as a historian, I can say with absolute certainty, the majority of Ukrainians will be shot again. The rest will be arrested, convicted and sent to concentration camps. The expert predicted that Ukrainians who become collaborators will be assimilated. And it is unknown whether we will have another chance to recover and fight for Ukrainian independence again. Therefore, the question is, will we exist or not? The interlocutor added. According to him, Ukraine now has a chance to win, since citizens are in a much more advantageous situation than their ancestors who participated in the liberation struggle. Because we finally have a strong, full-fledged, truly motivated and well-armed army, there is a state itself which has territorial integrity and administrative apparatus. We have, which is very important, the support of allies, the support of the Western world, which the same UPR did not have, the military expert explained. Recall Kiev has developed a plan to defeat Russia and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has already presented the document to US political leaders. Advisor to the head of the president's office, Mikhailo Podolyak, said that the outlines of Ukraine's victory in the plan are quite simple large-scale social protests in Russia. At the end of September, El País wrote that the full-scale war against the Russians on Ukrainian soil had reached a dead end on the battlefield and had reached a point of maturity that is the most dangerous. Explosions were heard and fire and smoke visible along the Beirut skyline in the early hours of Wednesday, as the Israeli military confirmed it was striking Hezbollah targets. Earlier, residents in some areas of the southern suburbs of the Lebanese capital were warned to evacuate their homes. It comes after Iran launched at least 180 missiles into Israel on Tuesday, the latest in a series of escalating attacks in a years-long conflict between Israel and Iran and its Arab allies that threatens to push the Middle East closer toward a region-wide war. The orange glow of missiles streaked across Israel's night sky as air raid sirens sounded and residents scrambled into bomb shelters. Israel vowed retaliation for Iran's barrage, which it said had caused only a few injuries. Before Iran's attack, Israel had landed a series of devastating blows in recent weeks against the leadership of Hezbollah in Lebanon. It then ratcheted up the pressure on the Iran-backed militant group which has been firing rockets into Israel since the war in Gaza began by launching what it said is a limited ground incursion in southern Lebanon. Israeli strikes have killed over 1,000 people in Lebanon over the past two weeks, nearly a quarter of them women and children, according to the health ministry. Hundreds of thousands have fled their homes.